Well, hello again, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. Well, it's Friday, so we're moving into the weekend. Um, so Trump got indicted, right? Um, that's, you know, I talked in my last video. I showed everybody, you know, how this is playing out. And, you know, it is what it is. I've always seen things a little differently than everybody else. Um... But staying on the Trump thing, I will show you how we do this walking backwards and forwards through time thing, okay? Now, according to the Bible, you know, when Jesus was arrested and crucified, right? They took his dead body, supposedly, and put it in a tomb. And they checked on him three days later, right? And he had risen, he was gone. Okay, so three days after his arrest, then something should have happened, right? But since we're going backwards, you have to play it backwards. And three days before his arrest is when he actually rose from the dead. It was his, uh, you know, lifetime ban from social media. In fact, it was his return to social media that he was one of the first ones to come out and say, hey, I'm going to probably be arrested on the 21st, right? So there's something for you to consider there more proof in the pudding so to speak but now we've reached the indictment or the crucifixion <laughs> and again in my last video I stated how ironic would it be that our ascension is actually tied up in this fable about his rising over Easter right that's the whole premise of celebrating Easter for the church and I keep saying that the Bible's inverted. Jesus didn't die for anybody's sins but his own. I know there's people out there that can't get over this Jesus thing and they still want him to be their his, you know, their Lord and Savior. You know, again, you're you're still indoctrinated to that whole religion thing if that's what you think. It, it amazes me how many people call themselves awake and they still suffer from so many indoctrinations of you know, this non-reality but it is what it is but anyway so if you if you go from the day that he got arrested which was on the 21st to the day of his indictment which was the 30th right and now we're into the 31st and again his indictment also happened on the 31st in a different part of the world because some people are actually a day ahead of us, right? So we'll just, we'll just pick a nice round number of 10 days is what it took to go from his indictment or no, his, his arrest to his indictment. Okay. So that's the killing card, right? I, I showed you the Illuminati cards. We go from the killing card straight into the, the movies over, right? So if you go 10 days forward from now, you're going to be April 9th, which is what? Easter, <laughs> just like I said in my last video. So, you know, again, I, you know, I've never been the one to, to say, hey, you know, I told you so, blah, 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 because even because even I don't know how all this plays out. But I don't believe in coincidences, and I find it very strange that these events are all happening in a particular order towards a particular end. You know, I, I still see people that I love and cherish on YouTube talking about the only way we're going to fix this is with, you know, better representation in politics, and everybody needs to grow their own food, to, and, and you're not going to fix this. <laughs> This is all way bigger than any of us, including me. <laughs> Remember, we are just nothing more than grains of sand. You're not going to spend eternity as a grain of sand. You know, lots of people are saying, oh, you know, we're just spirits having a human experience. Well, no, this is, the, this is what happened once before. That's why we're experiencing it again. Humans were food getting a little windy like I've stated humans were never supposed to exist in the first place it just is what it is Miss Maisie 
out on our walk. Early morning walk today, no work. My job, we're, you know, four on, three off this week anyway, so that's kind of nice. See, and even that, the fact that I see these things that I do and I'm still working a job just shows how open-minded I am to the, you know, none of what I see could be real. And, you know, we're going to be here for a while. I, I, I don't see none of that. I, I really don't. I, I still, you still have to live a life. You still have to project love into the world and put your best intent forward. And, and that's with all things right so you know that part doesn't change I still have to live a life I still have to do the things that I've done but the, the good part of it is if, if you know if all this is actually going down as I see it now does that mean we're gonna send on Easter and which day who knows I'm not gonna say we will and I'm not gonna say we won't just like I've said in all my other videos you know but, again, you can call it ironic, coincidence, I don't believe in none of that, that we just discussed the killing card and we just dis discussed Donald Trump. And so the killing card lasted about 10 days, so now we're into the, the film's over part. If that card lasts 10 days, it's going to take us right to the Easter and the full moon again. Right? You know, the full moon that didn't give its light, that was the new moon that happened on the 21st. So that, that's an actual marker that they told you about in the text. You know, you just perceive it as something completely different, even though you, I can show you it's staring you right in the face in day-to-day -day events. Okay? So, again, like I always say, it is what it is. I don't have any animosity about any of it. I don't, I don't walk the left, I don't walk the right, it is what it is, so that's my little tidbit for the day, so I'll pay attention to what happens around Easter, and if we're still here after Easter, you know, we'll look at what signs are coming up next and what they could potentially mean, but, um, you know, it is all going down, <laughs> okay, I love you all, bye-bye.